Minecraft, a game about blocks, squares, and perhaps even rectangles. But you don't need me to know the definition. Look it up on Wikipedia. The Dream SMP. What is it? I don't know. But my friends did, and they were the ones that introduced me to it. Who is Carl? I didn't know. And then I saw this color block hoodie, and I love color block, as you can see. I'm wearing it right now. on my body. I wanted that swirly hoodie on my body and I said, I will make that a reality. And so I did exactly that and you can too if you follow these simple steps. How was that mom? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Initially, I was going to create this hoodie from scratch, but as I was fabric shopping, I quickly realized that that wasn't going to be a possibility. Surprisingly, it's actually really hard to shop for the fabric that's in hoodies, and there isn't really much of a color selection. So I had to improvise! So the new plan was to find a white hoodie, completely deconstruct it, rip the seams, dye each part, and sew it back together. And with this plan in hand, I was ready to begin my journey. So I hopped in my car, seeking materials for my project. I may not know much about the Dream SMP, but I do know the song by Wilbur Sutt where it's like, and then then I'm in your Twitch chat. I don't think Wilbur Soot is in the Dream SMP. Is he? I only know Nihachu. Don't forget Carl. Tommy in it. Because of the. I spoke to Tommy in it. He said, Give me a god dang minute. He's in your bed and I'm in your Twitch chat. And I'll be a doormat. I don't know the lyrics, but I know that part from TikTok. This is kind of a vibe. I've never heard this whole song, but this is kind of a vibe. <laughs> I just spoke to Tommy in it. He said, give me a goddamn minute. All right, I'm here at my kids. The goal is to get a white hoodie, some dye. I don't know if they have fabric dyes, but I want to get some fabric dyes. Mostly, I want to get a white hoodie for Carl Jacobs. Let's go to Michael's and see if they have it. And then it was time to head into the promised land. The first thing I did was hit up the vinyl aisle and look for vinyl that I could use for the little swirly on the front of Carl's hoodie. Apparently I had a little bit of a Mandela effect moment because I thought it was baby blue. Later on I ended up going back to this aisle and getting teal because it's teal! <laughs> It's teal, it's not baby blue. And after all my drama with the vinyl, I was off to find the infamous white hoodie. But on my way to the shirt aisle, I'm not going to lie, I did get distracted by some cute little birdhouses. They were so little, they were so cute. Ca -ca! Despite getting hypnotized by the birdhouses, I eventually made my way to the shirt aisle. But something was amiss. Something was very, very wrong in shirt aisle town. I looked far and wide, but alas, there was no white hoodie to be found. So then I headed to the fruit juice section. Just kidding, this is fabric dye. If you drink it, you will die. That's why it's called fabric dye. But it does look a little yummy, does it not? Please don't drink it. I'm going to Walmart! I'm going to Walmart! I just heard someone say that there's manga somewhere over here and they were yelling at their mom and they were like there's manga here we have to go look so I'm low-key following them I kind of want to see the manga I kind of want to see the manga spoiler alert not only was there no manga there was also no white hoodie <laughs> so yeah I just got on my phone and ordered it on Amazon took a little bit of time. Actually, this is what took me the longest. For most of this process, I just use a seam ripper, but a thread cutter can also be super helpful. I really took my time with this because I wanted to get every thread out so that when I re-sew it, everything looks nice and clean. The last thing you want to do is sew over thread if you really want clean seams. The magic of this is you don't have to pattern anything and you only have to remove three parts of the hoodie, the right sleeve, the left sleeve, and the hood. I also highly recommend labeling your right and left sleeve if you easily get confused, like me. <laughs> 
now we're gonna rip the seams in these sleeves. And when you're done ripping all those seams, it should look a little bit like this. Look at that pile of thread in the back. Since the front and the back of the sleeves are different colors, we're gonna cut each of these sleeves exactly in half with a pizza cutter. It's not a pizza cutter, it's a rotary tool, but now I really want some pizza. So I've been doing my research about Carl Jacobs because I didn't want to finish this video like completely uneducated about him. So I tuned in to Quackity's live like cooking stream with him in it. I didn't tell any of my friends. I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> I just got a DM from my friend Becca. And the videos basically look like this. That's good. And what the? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I don't know what was that, guys. And I didn't do that. I'm scared. Next is the fun part where we get to dye all of the parts of the hoodie. I didn't want to risk accidentally dyeing my family's sink or using some of my family's pots and accidentally poisoning them, so I ended up getting a plastic bucket from Walmart <laughs> to dye all of the pieces in. I pretty much followed the directions on the bottle of dye, which called for salt, a little bit of dish soap, and hot water. I would also have a paint stick or tongs handy so you have something to mix the fabric in with the dye. I did not have that, so I used my hands and probably burnt all of my fingerprints off. So yeah, I would get those things. being dyed and dried, this is the result. Now we're gonna prep for the most fun part of the process, which is sewing, but the prep is, guess what, you guessed it, it is more seam ripping, so I'm ripping the cuffs right here. Also, ignore my dad in the back. I'm editing right now, and I just noticed his full stomach is out, and his toes are out. Just ignore him. <laughs> now it's time for sewing, love. It's time for sewing besties. We're gonna pin everything into place, put it through the sewing machine. This is so fun. This is like coloring in all of those like coloring books. You don't have to draw the lines. You don't have to draw the picture. You just have to color it in. It's so fun. So I sew the front and back of each of the sleeves together first, just in a straight line, nice and clean, nice and clean, easy peasy. And I also ironed everything down so we have nice flat seams. Ironing makes everything easier easier, just trust me, when you're sewing, just iron after every single step. Now this is the part that's gonna be a little bit nerve-wracking, not gonna lie, we're gonna be connecting everything together. The sleeves on the bodice, the hoodie on the bodice, it's, it's a little bit nervy, but we got this. Take a deep breath, slowly but steady. I like to have something in the background playing while I'm sewing. My mom is in the living room watching The Good Doctor, but I wanted to watch a Little Nightmares 2 stream, so I just did that instead. Honestly, that might make me like five times slower because I'm scared. Maybe I should have put on some Lazy Town. Dora, pump myself up. Maybe I should have been smarter and watched some Dream SMP streams. You know what? It might not be my brightest moment, but YOLO. Next up is a swirl, the little swirly swirl, the little swirly of the swirl. I measured out how big I wanted it or how big I thought that I wanted it, and then I went in and designed it in Photoshop. For this part, I literally took the Minecraft skin and basically traced it, but I realized when I did test prints that it fit kind of weird on the hoodie. So I decided to go back and make it more square so that it filled out the hoodie more. Also, this little robot is a Cricut machine, but you 100% don't need a Cricut machine to do this. You could use iron-on transfer paper for dark fabrics, which is what I would use and what I have used before I owned this little robot. But since I have it, I'm gonna use it for this. Ooh, 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 this is the one chief. But then I realized that I bought the wrong vinyl paper, so I had to haul my butt to the craft store. Off to get the second dose of the Moderna vaccine. Oh, and I forgot which vaccine that I got. Moderna, the Dolly vaccine. <laughs> craft store. The first thing I did was check out the mirror section. Anytime a store has a mirror section, I always check it out. Maybe it's the narcissism. Maybe. <laughs> also, I quickly remember that this store actually scared me, so I ended up quickly leaving and heading back to Michael's. Now, it's finally the fun part where we can cut this design, peel it, and put it on the hoodie. It's the part where we peel the paper. Next is one of the final 
parts of the process so exciting. We are going to apply a bunch of heat and pressure to fuse the design to the fabric. I'm not the strongest person, so this part was a little difficult for me, but I somehow got my strength together and did it. <laughs> also, you're going to want to put a piece of fabric between the iron and the design itself, just so you don't risk damaging the design. Now we're slowly peeling it, oh so very carefully. And then we're going to repeat the exact same process to the design on the back as well. 